It's a good thing because my legs are just about to give out. Hey, we just hiked in from Botswana. And human legs are made for long walks, but not that long. Yeah, it's not like we're African wild dogs who can lope around for hours. These long-legged wild dogs can go 25 miles a day without taking a break. Yeah, but I know one thing for sure. My legs are tired of walking. Tell me about... Hey, you hear that? It's Zabu. Let's call him. Zabu! Hey, Zabu! Look at those looper legs in action! Whoa! Zabu's here! And he still has a lot of juice in those legs. Whoop! 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 <laughs> Zabu, how many leaps does it take before your legs get tired out? Well, no chat until he's had his snack. So let's see what we have today. Garbanzo beans! Hey, and you know, speaking of legs, garbanzo beans come from the family of plants called legumes. Yeah, legumes. Hey, Zabu, how about some legumes? <laughs> These will power up your lemur legs. He likes those. Yeah. Give me some of the Vookie, vookie, vookie. Legumes. They give me new energy in my legs. Well, now I can leap on leaping. <laughs> I mean, keep on leaping. Let's see, uh, 504. 504? What do you mean, 504? Well, hey, brothers. Well, that's how many leaps I can make before I get tired and have to have another snack. Wow. You know, here, I'll show you. 505, 506, 507. <sighs> legs are my life. Watch this. I'm going to leap clear across Animal Junction. Mm. Good takeoff, got good lift. Oh, wait a second, I'm coming in short, headed straight for the... Oh. Uh, the pond. <laughs> nice landing, Sabu. Hey, there's a creature tickling me. Uh, who could it be? Who could it be? Uh -huh. This animal uh -huh. who I did see. Uh -huh. Can you help me guess this mystery? Uh -huh. He was a big round head and a tail. Swimming in the water. <laughs> Who could it be? This animal who I did see. Oh God, Scott. Oh God, Scott. Animal. He had funny fan shaped things on his head, but no legs. He's a water-living, no-legged creature. Do you know who he is? Let's see who it could be. <laughs> a tiger salamander larva. A tiger salamander larva? But where are his legs? Come on, leg seeker. <laughs> Mystery animal's here. <laughs> where are his legs? Well, he's just a head and a tail, that's all. Have you ever seen a creature that's just a head and a tail? Where are his legs? His legs, they're on the way, Zabu. His legs just haven't started growing in yet. But they'll start growing in pretty soon. Actually, it looks like they're popping through. Look, two front legs. Do you know what they're gonna look like when they fully grow? Yeah, tiger legs. That's it, 
Long, stripy legs. They'll be tiger legs for a tiger salamander larva. Well, that's what he's called, right? A tiger salamander larva? <laughs> Close well, enough. Well, then he'll have tiger legs for a tiger salamander larva. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's right. Salamander larva will grow four legs, and they'll be furry and orange with black stripes. Yeah. <laughs> Just like a tiger's. You mean like him? Manga Tsika, the tigers are here. And those legs will be perfect for tiger salamander larva to have. Yeah, tiger legs are amazing. And they're built for three things. One is stalking, two is charging, and three is pouncing. Check out how these legs work. First, her powerful legs launch her with a burst of power. Her back legs push her forward. Her front legs stretch out and grab the ball. But the ball squirms loose. Her front legs keep grabbing, and then... <laughs> and she pops it again. Tiger legs are amazing, but they're not the only wildcats with great legs. I mean, let's face it, we live in a world of legs. And one creature with awesome legs is the cheetah. Her legs make her the fastest land mammal on the planet. Her long legs stretch out for a stride of 20 feet. And she can run. She can go 70 miles per hour, as fast as a car on a highway, faster than your bike on a hill, but she can only run that fast in short spurts. Then she has to rest. Look who's here. Hi, Zipper. Zabu, see her long, thin legs? They don't weigh very much, so that makes her fast. The lighter the legs, the faster the cat. Wow, very impressive, Zipper. Do you want to see his amazing legs? Uh-huh. Uh, Zipper, can you stand up and walk around a bit? They want to see your amazing legs. Thanks, Zipper. Wow, tall legs. Long, tall legs for running and leaping. Hey, maybe that's what kind of legs the tiger salamander's going to grow. Long, tall legs like a cheetah. That's it, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. The salamander larva will huh? grow long, furry, spotted legs and be able to run like the wind. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be funny to see such long, long legs on such a little creature. <laughs> yeah, it what? would. But I don't think this little guy is ever going to have legs that long. Think we should give Zabu a clue? No. Well, I got to figure it out without any help. The answer has to be 100% lemur. I got to figure it out on my own. Good luck. That's it. You'll have lots of legs, like a millipede. So you think he'll have 200 insect legs? Yeah. Wow. Look at the wave of legs. Oh, yeah, wavy legs. Hmm, that's it. Salamander larva will grow 200 legs like a millipede. Lots of wavy legs. I think I figured it out. Hi, Bigfoot. Or he might have legs for jumping. Legs just like a kangaroo. <laughs> Pretend you have kangaroo legs. Put your feet together and hop. You got it. Kangaroos always keep their legs together when they hop. Bouncing brothers, kangaroo legs are cool. Kangaroo's tail is full of muscle, and it's important too. A kangaroo uses his tail like a third leg a lot of the times. They use it for walking, they use it for hopping as balance, and they use it to stand on when they're kickboxing. I almost forgot, kickboxing! That's another thing kangaroos use their legs for. All right, let's see how far a kangaroo can jump. And a half feet. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right, Chris. All right, my turn. Great job, Chris. About six <laughs> feet. I jumped further than a kangaroo. Well, yeah, but Bigfoot's just a baby kangaroo. You're right, Zabu. When Bigfoot grows into an adult red kangaroo, he'll be able to jump over 20 feet. Manga Tsika. That's a lot of jumping, and it's all in the legs. <laughs> yeah, 20 feet's a long jump. Do you want to see how far that is? Sure. Let's measure, Chris. All right, starting right here. Five, 10, 15, and 20. Look at Zika. 20 feet. 
That's far. Clear across Animal Junction. That's how far an adult red kangaroo can jump. Amazing! Wow. What do you think about that? Hmm. Hmm. Of course! These are the legs. Salamander larva's gonna grow jumping kangaroo legs. Why didn't I think of that before? Because before you were thinking tiger legs. And then you thought cheetah legs. Kangaroo legs. Yeah, well that's the problem. My mind can't decide. There are so many legs. Thick, heavy rhino legs. Long, lean, speedy legs. Fast, furry tarantula legs. All these legs remind me of the first time I met Phoebe and her crazy legs in Zabu Land. I was leaping along. Leap, 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 leap. When all of a sudden, I bumped into Narchi. Oh, hi, Narchi. Oh, hi, Zabu. Uh, well, great to see you. Hey, uh, you want to play uh, Goobleberry Ball? Here. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, sure, I said. Oh, so okay, we played. I threw the goobleberry ball to Narchi, <laughs> and he <laughs> threw it back to me. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> hey, Zabu, catch this. Okay. It's my super-duper double looper. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh-oh. That was our only goobleberry. Well, how are we going to play now? And then suddenly, oof, uh, the what? goobleberry oh. blew right back oh. to us. Hey, where did that come from? Yeah, who blew that goobleberry? Nobody. Nobody? Well, okay, then. Who threw it? Me. Who's me? Me. Huh? Yeah, who's me? Me, Phoebe. I oh, caught it. Hi. Here's all. Huh? Woo. Well, Phoebe's long legs were great for playing goobleberry ball. Uh, Stay and play with us, Phoebe. I'd love to. Uh, let's roll back, Phoebe. <laughs> so we played. And every time the ball splashed in the water, <laughs> Phoebe used her long legs to throw it back to us. And we played goobleberry catch all day long. <laughs> Whoa, nice one. The end. That was a great story, Zabu. And he just talked about more creature legs. Hmm. Underwater legs. Like an octopus's tentacles. That's what her legs are called, tentacles. And she uses those tentacles to move around. And see those suction cups on the bottom? Those grab and hold. Don't forget about crab legs. She has different legs for different things. Her back legs are for walking and swimming, and her front legs have claws for protection. Do you want to hear something amazing? Some water creatures like whales and these dolphins have fins and tails where legs used to be. You see, millions of years ago, dolphins' ancestors started spending more time in the water and their legs turned into fins and tails. Yeah, we live in a world of legs. But I still don't know what kind of legs tiger salamander larva is going to grow. And that makes me feel leggish. <laughs> I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel leggish. How about you? Leggish. I feel leggish. Leggish. I'm a leggy, leggy lizard with a long tongue, too. Woohoo! <laughs> Smell these legs. With so many legs around, I'm confused about what kind of legs the tiger salamander larva is gonna grow. Do you know? Well, I need a clue. Duck. Duck. Oh, you mean legs with webbed feet, like a duck? Hmm. That's right. Maybe the salamander larva will grow big webbed duck feet. Well, he's in the water, so that makes sense. Yeah, paddling water legs. That must be it. No, I said duck. Like incoming duck. You mean like a duck hawk duck? Yeah, that kind of duck. Yeah. Duck. Huh? Incoming! Duck! Oh, they meant that kind of a duck. <laughs> Hi, sticky feet. Huh. I'd recognize those talons sticking into my head anywhere. Why do you have to hang on so hard? It's because peregrine falcons, like sticky feet, have such strong, powerful legs. And it's those legs that power the falcon's strong grip. Legs are amazing things. Wow. Hey, and it looks like Amy tripped over some cool creature legs. Uh-oh, there's a daddy long leg spider. We better move her so she doesn't get hurt. As soon as you see those eight skinny legs, you know it's a daddy long leg spider. It's so cool to watch her walk around. Some spiders
spiders will bite you when you pick them up, but not at Dai Long Legs. She won't bite, but sometimes she'll ooze out some liquid that's smelly. So if a bird picks her up, he'll get a mouthful of that stinky stuff. Just think what great skippers we'd be if we had eight legs, like a Daddy Long Legs spider. You want to see lots of long legs? You know what I'm thinking, bro? I know what you're thinking. Africa! All right! They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. It's now we're or now. Do it, brother. Closet to grab their stuff and split. Hey! All right! One of our robots hit the thing! Oh! To the creatures! They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. While they're gone, I'll try and figure out what kind of legs the tiger salamander larva's gonna grow. <laughs> if you want to check out an amazing world of legs, come to Africa! Legs on the move. Giraffe's long legs give them a huge stride when they run. And look who's poking around in the water, a black winged stilt. I love the backwards bending legs of wading birds. What looks like their knee joint is actually their ankle joint. See it? Compare your ankle to her ankle. Now, a flamingo is a wading bird, too, and her long legs make it easy for her to walk around in the water looking for food. She eats crustaceans, like shrimp. And get this, the more shrimp a flamingo eats, the pinker she is. How about those tree trunk-like legs of hippos? Those legs have to support up to 7,000 pounds. Rhinos aren't far behind. They have to support almost 4,000 pounds and have enough juice to charge. Elephant legs support the most weight of all, up to 13,000 pounds. To this spotted hyena, these legs look like tree trunks. Legs tell you a lot about a creature and his lifestyle. And for a lot of creatures, legs are survival. <laughs> you got me. Now we know what an impala feels like. Legs are life to an impala. She has to outrun a lot of predators. If something happens to her legs, she's in trouble. Wow. And an impala's legs not only run fast, but you make huge leaps over logs and tall grass. I gotta try it. I do. To run like an impala, you have to zig and zag, and leap, and jump, and kick. Chris, these light feet are hard to keep up with. I know, but we gotta go faster. You know what they say about the slowest creatures in the herd. <laughs> Yipes. But I've got an idea. If you want to know what it's like to have the running, jumping, zigzagging, high-kicking legs of an impala, think of it this way. Imagine that we're impala, and these wheels are our legs, and there's a predator after us. Now imagine if suddenly our legs disappear. Uh-oh. Martin, lions. Uh-oh. It's hunting time. They're coming in. Oh, no. I really wish we had legs. Yeah, you can see why legs are really important for impalas and gazelles. Yipes. Gazelle will use their legs to get out of here. But what about us? How about this? Now let's imagine that our impala legs reappear. Yeah. Yeah. Legs, legs are life. life. All right, legs, pedal us home. I wonder who he's talking to now. Let's find out. Yeah, they'll be here soon. Well, there they are. Zabu, what are you up to now? Well, I'm hanging out with my spotted, long-bodied, short-legged friend. That's Martin and Chris. Well, they like to walk on two legs most of the time. Hard to believe, but true. Oh, and you, and you know what? If I spill itching powder on them, then they scratch with all their legs. A lot of creatures use legs to scratch. Everybody has different legs. <laughs> Hi. You like it here in Animal Junction? Yeah. Hmm? It's full of all different climbers and runners and, and all different creatures with different legs. Oh, you want to play? All right, let's go. Look at those short little legs. They're short legs, but they can really move. Great idea. Let's all use our legs. I'll leap and climb with mine. 
Check out these short climbing legs. This is a Janet. She is a spectacular climber. She moves through the tree limbs with such ease. And part of it is because of her retractable claws. The claws come out when she wants to dig into the tree branches and then go back in when she doesn't need to. Janets have such good balance. They can walk out on the smallest tree branches. Janets have really neat markings around their eyes. Janets like to come out at night so they see really well in the dark. Like most night creatures, her eyes are really big to let more light in. This Janet is an amazing creature, and you'll never guess who she's related to. Popcorn, the bins are on. Except she's a lot heavier. <laughs> a binturong and a genet come from the same family, called Viveridae, found mostly in Asia and Africa. And like the genet, the binturong spends a lot of time up there in the trees. She's in the same family and has the same short climbing legs, but there are a lot of differences. First of all, she's totally black, no spots at all. Look at these claws. They're longer claws and they're not retractable. Another similarity between these two cousins are their long whiskers. But you know what? The Binturong has an added climbing advantage over the Jenny. This prehensile tail. A prehensile tail is a tail that can grab onto things. It's like having another leg. <laughs> what a face. Check it out, she's looking for a place to sleep. Is that comfortable, Popcorn? All right, you just hang out there. Uh, I'm a little tired myself. Maybe a nap's a good idea. Good thinking. Uh. Hey, hold it! I love legs. I could explore the world of legs forever, but there's one thing I've got to know. I've got to see if the larva's growing any legs yet. What kind will they be? Let's see what's happening with the tiger salamander larvae. Well, what kind of legs has he grown? Nothing. They're still just little stubs. Well, it takes a few days for a tiger salamander's legs to grow, and even longer to become a full-grown salamander. Yeah, that takes a whole summer. Huh? I can't wait that long. Well, I'm leaving back to Madagascar tonight. Well, it's a good thing we're in Animal Junction, where sometimes things happen a little faster. Oh. <gasps> Check it out. A salamander starts out as an egg. After about a month, he hatches in the water. He breathes with gills like a fish, as we see him now. Only his gills are on the outside of his body, not on the inside like a fish. See those feathery things? Those are the gills. Manga Tsika. He grows bigger and bigger and changes. And before long, he grows legs. After a few months, he leaves the water and crawls up on land where his short, crawly legs are exactly what he needs. Short, crawly legs. You've got really nice legs, Tiger Salamander. And I should know, because I'm a leg guy. <laughs> <laughs> and these legs are perfect for a Tiger Salamander's lifestyle. That's because Tiger Salamanders live underground. And when you live underground, you need short legs. <laughs> oh, look, he's looking for a place to burrow. Yep. He's going underground. Once the tiger salamander goes underground, he uses his short, crawly legs to dig tunnels and crawl through them. These legs are perfect for underground-dwelling salamanders. And underground is where they can find earthworms to eat. The way he eats reminds me of one time in Zabu land. I was leaping along. Leap. Leap, 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 leap. When I bumped into, oof! Well, I didn't know who I bumped into until she pulled her head out of the ground. It was Wiggy Waxwing slurping up root noodles. Hi, Wiggy, I said. Hi, Sabu! What was the root noodles? Wiggy was wigging out all over, gobbling up root noodles. <laughs> Go, Wiggy! Until she found a root noodle that wasn't a root noodle at all. It was baby Zabumafuasaurus. Hi, Wiggy, wanna play? 
Wiggy was so full of root noodles that all she wanted to do was slide down baby Zubumafuasaurus over and over. <laughs> so we slid down baby Zubumafuasaurus all day. <laughs> the end. <laughs> We yep. live in a world of legs. Yep. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his funny behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are yep. friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, fly, and climb. One more thing. We have to say, go make an animal friend today! Yeah! Okay, Legs, take me home. Bye, buddy. Bye, brothers. Look at those legs leap. <laughs> and we hope your legs take you on some great adventures. See you, everybody. See you next time. Hi, my name is Allie, and this is Rosie.